Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. So I'm back with another video for you for your adult NMC OSCE revision. I hope these videos are helping you. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Right, in today's video, we're going to look at the planning station again and we're going to look at a scenario for uh, fall and fracture okay so we i'm going to show you one of the care plans which you can possibly write um, if you uh, come across uh, anything like that in your exam okay so any scenario like that where is a patient is coming with fall and fracture okay so we're going to look at that today as an example and we're going to see how we can write that care plan uh, together Okay, so that's what we're going to do today in today's video. Uh, so, just if you haven't watched my planning station videos before, please go ahead and watch those first because then you already know the principles of writing care plans. Then this video will make a lot more sense to you, okay? Because in this video, I am directly going to go into writing the care plan, okay? So, uh, we like I said, we will talk about fall and fracture scenario uh, today and see how we can write one of the care plans. So, just as a refresher, this is your 14 minute station. Planning is 14 minute station in your exam you have to write two very clear care plans based on two individual nursing needs for your patient okay which you have already discussed in assessment station so you will be given assessment paperwork back and implementation paperwork back so it's a quiet written station okay so that's what planning station is like I said go and watch those videos first and I have added the link of those videos to the description of this video below right so let's have a look at this one <clears throat> so i'm showing you on your screen <clears throat> now this scenario doesn't belong to a real person uh, or a real patient uh, it's just uh, i made this scenario it's not for one of my patients. i've just made this purely for teaching purpose okay so we're looking at this template which is the front template as you know you are given on the planning state in the planning station so let's quickly look at our scenario so our scenario is <clears throat> jason smith is admitted to orthopedic ward following a fall at home okay and uh, now he is with right hip fracture okay and uh, he has open reduction and fixation surgery planned for tomorrow so all we know is we got a patient and we already done assessment on this patient in our assessment station so it's uh, he's fallen at home and he's fractured uh, his hip and he's for uh, fixation of the hip but not until tomorrow so he's going to theater tomorrow at the moment he's just a orthopedic admission on your uh, board uh, so that's what we know so based on your nursing assessment which in, in now they're telling you on the template based on your nursing assessment of his needs which you have already done in assessment station please write two very clear care plans suitable for next 24 hours and it's a written station you have 14 minutes to complete this so that's the instruction page now we're going to look at the inside page which is the uh, blank page to write your first care plan and then you will have second page for second care plan so that's how you're going to complete two care plans for this patient but today we're only going to look into one of the possible nursing needs for this scenario so we will just complete one care plan and hopefully give you idea how you can complete the second one so let's look at uh, the template now how are we going to complete hey uh, so the templates talk about the nursing need then it talks about the aim of care then it talks about the re-evaluation date and your nursing interventions so that's your blank sheet and uh, like i said we have already discussed how to write care planning so we're going to apply those principles to this scenario now so if we go on to the completed sheet now so i can show you how i have completed this so nursing need or problem very simple jason a so i have chosen a need i have chosen developing pressure ulcer as a risk okay as a need risk of developing pressure ulcer because obviously this patient is on bed rest uh, elderly because i've done assessment on him so i know uh, and 
you know and uh, he is at risk of developing pressure ulcers uh, so that's what uh, additional information i was given in my uh, uh, assessment station so i have chosen that need for this patient so Ch jason is at risk of developing pressure ulcers due to inactivity as jason is bed bound due to fracture of right hip so that's my nursing need clear and simple uh, and uh, it is about risk of developing pressure ulcer. So that's the nursing need. So aim of care is, so if the risk is, if the nursing need is risk of developing pressure ulcer, so our aim should be to prevent pressure ulcers. So to prevent development of pressure ulcer during Jason's hospital stay. So we want to make sure that he does not develop a pressure ulcer. Um, so re-evaluation, we have already discussed this in our planning video before, the principles of writing this box. So we will write, uh, so this is how often we're going to review uh, Jason regarding his risk of pressure ulcer. It means how often we're going to go and look at Jason uh, that he's okay uh, and uh, also look at his pressure areas. So uh, it's going to be today. Uh, write the date. That would be your exam date. And then we know we talked about the nursing round. So that's just a kind of a national recommendation uh, to go and check on all of our patients for different reasons. So we're going to write that as a national standard, two hourly as per nurse rounds or sooner if clinical condition changes. So we're going to go and look at him and maybe look at his pressure areas every two hours. And sooner if we see any signs, we might have to do more often, but that's kind of re-evaluation uh, box we have completed so that's our guidance that we should at least go every two hours and uh, check uh, so nursing interventions if we look at them explain all uh, aspects of care plan to jason and gain consent so without gaining consent we can't do anything so we know that we need to write that point next one is monitor and record jason vital signs and escalate as per news to policy uh, document all care given to jason Next one is administer all medication prescribed, check for effectiveness and show Jason how to use a coal bell and keep within reach so he can actually ask for help if he needs it. So uh, and now look at the specific points for the pressure area, uh, pressure ulcer prevention. So we will complete braid and pressure area assessment too. Now, uh, there are two different kind ones. There is Waterloo and there is a Braden pressure area assessment tool. Uh, so I have just chosen the Braden one. So complete Braden uh, pressure area assessment tool to check for risk of developing pressure ulcer. So we need to actually do the assessment to see if he's at risk of developing pressure ulcer. So next one will be uh, check Jason's pressure areas regularly for any redness, any blisters, any, any other early signs of pressure ulcers. Okay, and refer him to the medical team. If any signs are present at all, refer him straight away. Uh, and then we going to next one is advise Jason to eat well balanced diet because we know it's so important for skin integrity. Okay, so well balanced diet is very important for skin integrity. So advise Jason to eat well balanced diet to promote skin integrity and maintain good hydration. And then next one is uh, change and adjust uh, Jason's position regularly okay because we can't get him out of the bed because he is on bed rest but we do still need to relieve his pressure areas regularly and um, change and adjust his uh, pressure uh, his position to relieve his pressure areas regularly to prevent formation of pressure ulcers so that's how i written it simply uh, obviously you have to adapt it to your scenario and look at patient history and make sure you don't write anything which is not factual for your scenario uh, because whatever uh, nursing interventions you write have to be factual to your scenario related to your scenario and also uh, have to be evidence-based okay so what helps in prevent uh, in prevention of pressure ulcers so i hope uh, you uh, like this care plan and it gives you a better idea how to write a care plan on uh, prevention of developing pressure ulcers okay so top tips now uh, not many is a written station so make sure you are doing uh, um, you know practice in writing your writing is clear your writing is legible second one is practice with a timer um, because you have only got about seven minutes for 
a one care plan to write in your exam 40 minutes in total for two care plans so make sure you do practice with a timer writing these things so third thing is whatever you write i already told you has to be factual has to be related to your scenario so make sure you don't write anything which is not true for your patient scenario okay so number four is evidence-based practice so whatever you write has to be evidence-based uh, so make sure you write correct interventions and number five is uh, I would say then uh, already uh, have your uh, kind of uh, practice scenarios and uh, planning um, care plans ready okay because exam is not the day when you start thinking about your how you address a particular nursing problem so you should actually know how to um, how to address different nursing problems and what are the current interventions for different nursing problems which you can come across in your exam so make sure you think about it beforehand and think how you're going to address different nursing problems so this was just one of the example of nursing problem okay so i hope this video will help you uh, in your care planning session uh, station in your exam so if you would like to know more about our training uh, you can email us, us on oskinus training uh, at outlook.com you can also visit us on oski nurse training.com our website and we provide both online and face-to-face -face training and also just the modules for mock exams and practice days uh, for skills and api okay so i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now